Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And What's up? How y'all doing, man? It's your boy MB, man, with another Knowledge is Power organic video. What do we have here? We have a box for 225 weights, MBE design. For a, I think, believe a Silverado. Some people like to cram as many woofers as they can into a given space, thinking that they're going to get deep bass, and that's not necessarily the case. Deep bass, death, which is D E P T H, is going to be dictated by how much air is inside the box, not just throwing a whole bunch of subwoofers. There's a school of thought with truck build, the truck enclosure builders all over the world, all over the country, that to get deep base, just throw as many subwoofers as you can into a space. That's definitely not going to work if you listen to music with a lot of bass emphasis, hip-hop and R&B especially. And I'm going to give you an example using a bottle. The bottle is the enclosure. Let's look at the resonation. Do you hear the resonation of the noise out? Let me get closer to the. See how deep it is? Now, let's put a sub inside the box. The water is the sub. That's where the displacement comes in. Most replica manufacturers, when they make a subwoofer, they will tell you the displacement of the sub so you'll know how much space it occupies in the box. If you're getting a ported box, the port takes away volume as well. But how many subwoofers you put inside that volume is going to dictate how much air you have left that's going to resonate. So we're going to put a subwoofer inside this box. Let's fill it. Let's fill it about halfway. Now you heard it before. You heard the res. Ooh, y'all heard the resonation before I put water inside the box. Okay. Now take a little bit out. Bottle filled about halfway. Now listen to the resonation. Whoa, MB, what happened? Sound like a whistle. Do it for you again. Hmm. Let's put another subwoofer inside the same box volume. Because they're telling you, man, just cram as many woofers as you can. You'll get deep, loud bass. Not telling you that, yeah, they just line in their pockets. Okay. So we're going to put more water inside and not get myself wet. Let's put more subs inside the given box volume. And this works whether it's a 212 box, 215 box, 415 box. Deep bass is going to be dictated by how much air resonates. It's a hem holtz resonator. Now watch. Showed you something. Now, let's take the subs back out the box and go back to what's optimal. My wife over there just laughing her butt off. Baby, you shouldn't do that. Hmm? Knowledge, truth is power. Let's go back to just putting one sub in the box. You see the water? And watch how deep the base is. <laughs> Fat and that fiction, baby. This is the truth. The more inside the box for the subwoofer, the deeper the base. The bigger the box volume, the deeper the base. The smaller the box volume, the less base depth you're going to have. Fat and that fiction, prove me wrong. I don't care who don't like it. 
Jesus told me, tell them the truth and I got you. Just tell them the truth and I got you. Get up, you need a box, man. 4046 now, 44818. And as always, please listen responsibly.